Can you tell me about yourself? Sure. I'm in my mid-60s and I've been in ministry for about 40 years. A very powerful part of shaping me was family. My family helped me overcome my fear of public speaking by encouraging me that I was actually good as a public speaker. Uh, my dad was a very good public speaker. He was a politician growing up and my mother was a community leader so they spoke in public and whenever I did speak come and listen and give me positive feedback. You know, actually, I did not go into becoming a pastor in order to meet any needs. Um, I didn't become a pastor until I was in my early 30s. I realized that my needs are truly met primarily through a relationship with God in Christ. Uh, that meets my emotional needs and social needs. So becoming a pastor wasn't a matter of me getting my needs met. My greatest struggle gosh that's a good question i would say my greatest struggle was simply enjoying seminary because seminary uh, training for pastors is a professional school it's not like college or other master's degrees where you have a lot of electives your course of study is prescribed and i found that confining um, because i wanted more independent study because it's you're just taking a lot of courses that prepare you to be a pastor. Oh, that's a good question. Gosh, you know? Yeah, actually, the I, I was a competitive skier in high school and college, so I competed. Uh, I was a ski jumper and a cross-country skier, and my high school ski team that I was a part of was considered the best in the United States. So it was a very high-performing team, and I had a coach who was not a follower of Christ, and his way of motivating us as a team to win was to hate the other team. But my convictions as a Christian were that I'm supposed to love all other people. And so I couldn't figure out how to compete at a high level against other people that I didn't hate. In other words, hate didn't work for me as a motivation. I learned later that a good motivation for an athlete who is also a follower of Christ is the motivation of always seeking to do your absolute best. The experience that changed my life the most is very easy to, to, to tell. It was when Christ became personally real to me uh, when I was in high school. I struggled with whether or not God existed. And I was really into science. I was really struggling with all of that. And God sent me a friend who was very intelligent, who also believed in God, and he and I had a lot of discussions. And so through those conversations, uh, I began my own spiritual exploration of, of who Jesus was. And at the end of my freshman year in high school, I slowly came to believe that Jesus was who he claimed to be. And my whole life and worldview just sort of completely shifted.